In lesson 33, the students went from s solving equations to solving inequalities. So um, I just want to go through a couple of examples. Um, they gave us a set of numbers um, to pick from, and then they asked us to figure out which numbers made the equations or the inequalities true. So I actually had my students solve this first. I had them draw a line down the equation, breaking it into two equal sides. Our goal of every equation is to get the variable by itself. So to undo positive 5, we put a negative 5 underneath it because that's a value of 0. And whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. And this gives us an answer or a value of m equals 1. Okay, so this equation is true when m equals 1, and it's false when m is anything other than 1. So my students and I talked about true and false here. Okay. Um, when we look at the set of numbers that it gave us, the only one in this set that would make this equation true is 1. Okay, and then I explained to my students you really can do the same thing with inequalities. You can draw a line down. Okay, your goal is still to get the variable by itself. So you are going to do the opposite of plus 5, minus 5, or negative 5. They're going to cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. If you bring down your sign, you're left with m over here. m has to be less than or equal to 1. So my students were like, oh, this will be a true inequality when values for m or less than or equal to 1. And we also talked about when it would be false. It would be false if m is greater than 1. And then we looked at the list of numbers that was given to us in the directions. All the values that are less than 1 in that set will make this equation true. And the only, or less than or equal to 1. So this actually has two solutions from this set. 0 and 1 will make this inequality true. apologize if I said equation before that. That is an inequality. So again, number 3 is an equation. To I have my students expand this all the time, really to show that they understand that multiplication is going on in between the coefficient and the variable. To solve multiplication equations, students should do the opposite operation, or inverse operation, which is division. And I'm going to use the fraction bar to symbolize that. I'm going to divide by 5 here. The 5s will be canceled, and you're left with 1h. And whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So h equals 8. <clears throat> this equation will only be true when h is equal to 8. It will be false when h is anything other than 8. And when you look at your set of numbers, 8 is included in the set. So 8 would be the answer here. And the last one I'll show for you today, because I hope hopefully you really understand this. Okay, we'll draw a line down here. Again, expand it. 5 times h is greater than 40 for this inequality. To get the variable by itself here, I'm going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. These guys are going to cancel. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. h is going to be greater than 8. So for all values of for h that are greater than 8, this equation will be true. It will be false when h is less than or equal to 8. So when you're coming with your set of numbers, you have to look at these and say, okay, which ones are greater than 8? 11 in, is greater than 8 in that set, and 17 is greater than 8 in that set. Okay, And that's a brief summary of really what we did in class today. So hopefully that will help you with your homework on your problem set. For my students, um, I am going to put the problem set up. I'm going to pop up some questions in your Educanon. And um, I hope that you get them correct. And there will also be a couple of review questions at the end. Good luck.